Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Monster Deco once again. And in this video, this is the part seven of the series Firewise Complete Tutorial. Uh, I did not upload it for a long time, but uh, I think to upload continue this series. For now, uh, in this part, we will learn how to store data in the collection of Firestore not as one data we can store many data and as much as we can but the user have to log in first so for that we need to create some ui first so we are going to open activity underscore main dot xml file where so if you don't know uh, about this project so firstly go to the description and check the old videos about this series then you will understand how we get this project so here we have some data like we store the images and image all the things are there you can understand if you watch this was the old videos so here we are going to just add one simple edit text view so let's create some linear layout should be match burn and wrap content and the orientation should be horizontal as we are, are going to add two views to this layout one is edit text which is uh, 300 dp by wrap content and the hint should be add posts okay now we need one button which will which will just upload the post so it should be wrap content by wrap content and okay this is 250 and we are going to make the gravity to center ok now let's add it under the image ok now let's add some id to this it is a uh, edit text post and this is post button okay all thing is done so let's come to the main activity and let's first initialize uh, views so here we have a uh, edit text post field and we have a button let's initialize as private which is post button okay now let's find them using view by id post field equal to find view by id or dot id dot edit text post and post button id dot post button now whenever every anyone click on this button let we need to check that if user already write something or not so let's create some function on button click So post button dot 
set on click listener new on click listener under that we will create a function called add post okay now let's create this method under the main activity here firstly we need to get the value from the edit text so let's create a stream this is called post value and let's add the value from post field dot get text dot to stream now check if <coughs> util dot is empty post value if the if that is not empty then we should uh, start the function otherwise we need to show a toast dot make text activity dot this you have to add something okay and then toast dot length long and dot so sorry okay for now we are going to add some data so let's call firebase firestore as we already initialized that so dot collection so in this section we need to pass a string and this is a post and then we need to add the document and this is also a string but we need to add all the document as a different IDs so let's create some unique ID for that string unique ID equals to view id dot random dot to string and we need to pass this unique id here and then dot or we need to create a map also for that map as we created here uh, in the user clicks and or we already created here store user data and here is this map function where it is there it is so let's copy from here Oops. and paste it here and change the name as post then we are going to add post dot Put and we need to pass the string string as um, let's post value and then we need to pass the post value now we need to pass the sorry here it is the going to be set as map and the map is post then dot add on complete listener new on complete listener here we need to check that if the task is successful or not for that just check if task dot is successful then we show the task as dot this your post is added and otherwise if the task is not successful then we show the task as let's copy this and paste it here 
we are going to show the error message of the task so let's add task dot get message or get exception is the first thing and to set is a, it, it is not a string so let's add a string as error and plus so now it's okay so let's run this application and let's see is it working or not for that i need to turn on my virtual device for that let's wait <coughs> Here I have the issue for the current user ID, but uh, what is the reason behind that? Let's add here m auth dot get print user. If that is now, then it should get the. Uh, let's run it again. Okay, let's add a um, if statement here if current user ID not equals to null then we should trigger this function otherwise not. Okay, I hope that we will be working now. okay the app is working but still it gives me a uh, error and again okay, that's not the big deal we should done here so let's firstly create a new account with the uh, email dot email at gmail.com and password should uh, not give my number it's uh, password and let's register okay I don't have anything so let's add a uh, image here oh I don't have stored data so let's um, add some post so this is my first post and let's post here as you can see that your post is added so let's see is it really stored in the database or not so i'll open my first door
and here I go to database So as you can see that my post is already added and it has a unique ID and this is my first post. So I can add more post here like this is my my second post and let's post it here and as you can see here it is already added. So this is really easy to add some post to the Firebase and I think it is a quite simple and easy tutorial for you and there are many more things coming soon to these tutorials uh, for that right now bye in the next part we will learn how we can get those data in a recycler view as a list